What you see in this photo is only makeup. I wanted to show you an image of what I've experienced in the past. It's important for me to be transparent with you because I too have been in difficult and painful situations before becoming the woman I am today. Domestic violence. At first, it's a slap in the face. And while crying, you say, sorry, I'll never do it again. And you think to yourself that it's all just a mistake, a misunderstanding. Then after that, it starts to escalate. He punches and hits you all over, then drags you by your hair, smashes your head to the ground with his foot, or even strangles you and spits in your face. Then it turns to more and more violence, this time psychological, to demean and humiliate you. With his words, he reduces you to nothing. Then there's that moment when his guilt fades, and he begins to shift the blame onto you. And without even realizing it, you move from victim to the person at fault, the one who was in the wrong. Your brain starts to accept it and believe it. It's your fault. If you hadn't done that, then he would have never done this. And then it's a descent into hell because not only do you get hit, but he takes advantage of this moment to make you believe that no man will ever want you. Then, little by little, you lose confidence in yourself and you forget what a treasure you are because obviously it's your fault. So you question yourself, you do everything to change, all the while apologizing. For a long time, I didn't say anything. Of course, I thought that the problem was mine. It was my fault because I was impulsive. Well, at least that's what he made me believe all that time with those famous lines. If you hadn't talked back or raised your voice, I wouldn't have done that. If you were normal, it wouldn't have come to that. And if that weren't enough, after all the beating, he would say, if I had to do it again, I'd do it again. And then, of course, when you tell him that one day you're gonna say something, he laughs at you and says, don't play the battered woman. It's not like I hit you every day. You don't even get any bruises. So you feel stupid after all. I mean, who's going to believe me? Everyone around you thinks he's kind and charming and loves him. So you keep everything to yourself and suffer in silence. I'm sharing my story with you because I want things to move forward. Still, my stomach is definitely in knots, my throat is dry, and my heart is pounding as I write these words and tell the truth because when I wrote this, I probably wasn't ready to do so. But the most recent events in my life make me want to talk about it. That's why the fight for self-acceptance and self-confidence is so important to me. Because if I'd had these when I was with him, I might have had the courage to leave long before. Thank you for having read this.